Okay, boys and girls, Miss Becca is back with part two of Shavuot and making butter. So, my other container wasn't working super well, so I got one of these instead. It's plastic, and that usually works better. We're gonna just shake it again for a few seconds, and then I'll show you guys what my butter looks like. Shake, 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 All right, I think it's ready. So this is what my butter looks like. Do you see that watery stuff in there? That's buttermilk. So Miss Becca is gonna pour out that part. Look at my butter. All right guys, so that right there is butter. You have made butter. Smells like butter, pretty cool. So, now that we've made our butter, and it's, you know, a little soggy and kind of wet, which is gross, um, let's put it on something. I'm going to uh, get a cracker and put some butter on it. Those are the wrong ones. Okay. Crackers. Butter. Yeah, that's it. It's butter. It's very exciting. You can see it's kind of squishy, kind of wet, kind of gross. But we made butter, and that's what matters. So, for the rest of this video, let's talk about Shavuot. So, Shavuot is considered a harvest holiday, like most of our other holidays. What are some other harvest holidays? Sukkot. Nice job. Sukkot's a harvest holiday. Any other ones that we can think of? No? That's okay. But yes, Sukkot is a harvest holiday. So, Shavuot's also a harvest holiday. And we eat dairy on Shavuot because Shavuot is when we got the Torah and the Ten Commandments from God on Mount Sinai. And the reason why we eat dairy is because before we weren't allowed to eat any products from animals because it was because they were animal products. And then when we got the Torah and the Ten Commandments, God said, okay, you can have dairy. So we eat dairy. Lots of people eat cheesecake, which is Miss Becca's favorite dessert. Lots of people eat ice cream. There's all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> so what are some other things? that you guys could make at home. Well, you can make ice cream at home. It's pretty easy. And there's also a really fun thing that you can make if you have bananas and frozen yogurt. So, if you have those two things at home, I'm gonna tell you how to make a really fun recipe and it's called a banana freeze. So, you take a whole banana and break it up into pieces and put it in a blender. And then you take two scoops of vanilla frozen yogurt and pop it in the blender and then you blend it and it's a banana milkshake freeze. It's pretty fantastic. So friends, you could definitely make that. You can make butter or any other sorts of stuff. So in the link below on the first video is a video about Shavuot that I want you guys to watch. And I'll see you on Wednesday for our Zoom call. Okay, bye guys.